Hey guys, I device help here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at iOS 13.2 beta one on the iPhone SE. I've been using the software here in studio with this device for approximately 24 hours and I wanted to share my experience with you guys. Now, spoiler alert, it just continues to get better for iPhone SE users with iOS 13.2. However, there's a few downsides that I wanna share with you guys as well. So let's just dive right in. Now with iOS 13.2, we have a new volume indicator and control center that represents the actual AirPlay device connected. For example, I have a pair of AirPods connected right now listening to Beats Radio. And you see here that the AirPods or right there, the image is showing right within the UI. And this translates over to other devices like the HomePod and other external speakers and Bluetooth devices as as well so minor changes to the ui coming to ios 13.2 on the iphone se we also have some changes to the airplay and handoff feature on ios 13 so if you go to settings general we can go to airplay and handoff and you see here that we have the transfer to homepod option where you can enable or disable now this allows you to hand off music to homepod so if you're listening to music on your way home with your headphones you can go ahead and hold your iphone se next to the homepod and this will send over or transfer over the music to the home pod so you can continue enjoying that content without missing a beat this is an option you can turn on or off you also have your handoff options in here for those of you that do not know handoff is a feature that allows you to continue a task on any other device that's connected to the same iCloud account so for example if you're texting someone or composing an email on your iPhone you can continue on your iPad by handing off so you can turn off and on handoff here in the airplay and handoff options you also have a toggle here up at the top or a settings here for never ask or always automatically uh, being able to do these uh, kind of actions on your iPhone. So definitely changes to the AirPlay and handoff coming to iPhone SE on iOS 13.2. Very happy for that. In the music application, we have the music history. This is a new feature coming to the music application for newer and older devices. So if we go to music, we're listening to music here on the player. We can click right here in the three lines and you see we scroll up, we see the history of all our music on the iPhone SE, everything we've listened to in the past. So so very happy to see that a lot of these features are coming to the iPhone SE as well. Now we've seen some changes in the performance as well. So let's go head on over here to the Geekbench application and let's go to some of the history here. So if we go to CPU here, we see that on September the 3rd for iOS 13.1, we see that the iPhone SE performed 2427 on a single core score. If we go to yesterday's test, October the 4th, a month later on the latest iOS was 13.2 we see that we have 2561 so a slight increase in single core performance and a slight increase minor increase on multi-core performance with 4488 when previously was 4484 so slight improvement in the actual cpu department here as well that is of course great news now there's a downside to this story and that's what i want to share with you guys now one thing that i've noticed after using ios 13.2 on this iphone is that we do not see the audio share option featured on the iPhone SE, unfortunately. Now, Air Share, of course, is the feature that allows you to share the audio of your iPhone with multiple Bluetooth headsets or devices. So if you're watching a movie or a TV show or a YouTube video, you can share the audio with multiple devices and you can control the audios individually, but that is not present on 13.2 beta one on the iPhone SE. However, there's minor UI changes that I've also noticed here with the volume HUD, there's slight animation changes, as well as the app switcher is a lot faster. So I'm really digging that a lot. In regards to battery, I'll have a full detailed rundown on my follow-up for iOS 13.2 in general, which I'll talk about that. But so far, I can't really complain much. I haven't been able to use the iPhone SE as my daily driver, so I can't really provide much information on the battery. But using it in the studio for minor tasks seems to be okay for now. And that about brings an end to this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my follow-up on iOS 13.2 for the iPhone SE. It just continues to get better with improvements. Hopefully, hopefully the battery and everything else uh, will continue to improve with future updates for this software. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a great day and I'll see you real soon. Peace.